you can feel confident in the player. You can feel confident in your system and in your organization to surround that player with what he needs to have success. You still don't know if he's going to have success. You don't. Yep. I don't. Mike doesn't. Trendy doesn't. The teams themselves that spend all this time and energy and effort on it don't know. And I think that's what Mike is getting to. But I think what Mike is leaving out is that the draft is a game. It's a game of chance. If you don't take the chance on the quarterback, you'll never hit. Let's look back to the 2021 draft, okay? Top 10 picks like Patrick Sertain and J.C. Horn and Jalen Waddell. Those are good players. Are their teams any closer to a Super Bowl because they drafted those guys? No, it's because they don't have a what? A quarterback. quarterback. You have to do whatever <laughs> you can to find the quarterback to make yourself a great team. You can draft every, you can hit on every top 10 pick for a decade. If you don't have a quarterback, you're not winning anything. So you take the chance, you roll the dice, and yes, you might fail, but it's worth the risk. They're not going to get Caleb Williams unless they trade up. He's going to go number one. So Drake May, I know you like Jaden Daniels the most out of those. I, I think you might like him the most out of the three. Like, As things stand right now, yeah. Like, give, give I'm us comfortable some saying that. Like, like, what is Drake May like? What is Jaden Daniels like? And why would you prefer Jaden Daniels over Drake May? Well, Drake May is somebody whose game I think would have a lot of similarities to someone you like right now. Jordan Love. Jordan Love. Mm -hmm. A little bit of an elongated release, but a really good athlete can throw off platform, has these flashes of brilliance when it comes to downfield accuracy and fitting it into tight windows over the middle, but has been inconsistent. His last two games as a collegian might have been his worst two games of the season. And so that would scare me a little bit, especially considering the competition. He's not like, for instance, Jaden Daniels, Mike, who's coming from the SEC, who just had one of the best seasons in college football history, statistically, against good competition, he also might run a 4-4. I don't think he's going to run at the combine because quarterbacks don't generally do that. Freaky athlete, accurate deep down the field, and takes care of the football, something Caleb Williams doesn't do all that well. In terms of pro comps, it's really hard. Can I say Lamar Jackson without getting skewered? I don't think he's as fast or as explosive as Lamar, but that's the style quarterback you're talking about. 